What's up, cavemen? This is Mr. Glom, principal of American Fork High School and professor of Rhizology 101. Today, we're going to talk about dances. Believe it or not, I was once your age and I went to my fair share of dances and I still have pictures that help with memories. Some of them were formal, some themed. Sometimes I didn't get the memo on what the theme was. Yes, this is a men in black group at a Titanic themed dance. Thanks for letting me know that I was supposed to wear black. Anyway, sometimes I was forced to wear a matching shirt. Sometimes things didn't go great. Sometimes I went to dances with girls I liked. Girls who were friends and girls who eventually became your mom. Uh, don't worry, Kate, nothing happened. I mean, look at me. Of course nothing happened. I've also been to dozens of dances as an adult. So don't be jealous. Anyway, I tell you this because I know a few things about school dances and I want things to go well for you and your date at this hum upcoming homecoming dance and all the dances that follow. First, you should definitely go. You have a three year window where you can have a high school experience. Life rewards the brave. I'm not guaranteeing that the date will go perfect, but you will be better for the experience. You'll always have a story to tell and you might have the time of your life. It is probably too late to ask someone to this dance, but people love getting asked. If you're not sure, just ask them. If they can't go, they will still be flattered that you thought of them. Second, if you're going with someone to a dance, your primary objective is to be considerate of them. Here are a few ways you can do that. After they say yes to you, communicate your plans. Hey, Samantha, I'm excited for Saturday. The plan is to pick you up at six. We'll do pictures and then probably eat at seven. Then we'll, we'll head to the dance. After that, we'll get ice cream. I'm hoping to get you back before midnight. When you pick them up, tell them how nice they look. It's not creepy, it's polite. They aren't gonna act like this. No, I will not make out with you. <laughs> Talk to your date, be curious about them, ask questions, and do not ditch your date. You shouldn't go more than a couple songs without checking in with them. It's fine to dance with your friends, but always pull your date into the fun you're having. If someone was taking you on a date, make sure you say thank you. You don't owe your date anything at the doorstep, but you should do your best to show your gratitude and kindness. So, how do you act at the dance? For a formal dance, you're required to dress in a formal way. It is a good idea to change into more comfortable shoes for the dance, but stay in your dress and dress shirts and pants. Don't unbutton your shirt. Athletic attire is not acceptable for a formal dance. Make sure that you dress in a way that fits the occasion. It's a dance, not a pool party. Your generation prefers fast songs way over slow songs. And you like to bounce more than dance, that's fine. If you bounce, it should be up and down. If you're seen pushing the pile, you might be asked to leave. It gets super hot and sweaty in those mosh pits and sometimes people get injured. That's why we have adults in there to make sure nobody gets hurt. Make sure you are careful of where you put your hands in those crowded spaces. I keep them close to my chest or in the air. Again, do not push. If you brought someone to the dance, you really should dance together for the slow songs. It shows maturity to be able to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with another person without feeling awkward. Guess where you can practice that? A school dance. If you're not dancing with someone during the slow song, don't pull out your phone to video someone who is. It's weird. And speaking of weird, making out in front of other people is weird in pretty much every setting I can think of, even The Bachelor. It's extra weird at school dances. I am so excited for the dance this Saturday. Make sure you buy your tickets in advance. See you on the dance floor. Good luck finding a DJ who can move and shake like this.